What's up, y'all? It's Wiggy Wednesday. I got a new wig, y'all, from Naja Hair. It is so soft, so bouncy, 13 by 6 frontal, 24 inches, no funky weavy smell, so bouncy. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to get into it. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start with plucking. Um, I did use a tutorial. I will leave in the comments below. It's always best to use the 20 tip when you are plucking. Um, it pulls less hair and less is definitely more. Um, it may not look like you are plucking a lot, but you are. Never pluck twice in the same spot to avoid um, ball spots. See here? Only look like a few plucks, child. You got your smear. So again, you just take another row and then you uh, start the process all over again. Pluck, pluck, pluck. All right, so this is the pluck side. Then this is the unplucked side. Huge difference. Much more natural on the pluck side. Here it is again. Fully plucked all the way around. See how bouncy that hair is? I did the sides, the top, my first plug job. I'm so excited. It came out really great. It's time to bleach, baby. So I used the uh, purple kaleidoscope bleach for every scoop. It's two scoops of developer. I did do two cycles of bleaching on this wig since it's so much hair. Um, and I used a 30 developer the first time around and a 50 developer the second time around. What I noticed with the higher developer is that it did lighten faster, much faster, and to get a higher lift. Um, but I feel like I got the same effect from the 30. It just took longer. But doing both of them um, together gave me the uh, lift that I was wanting. So I used the foils to look like I know what I was doing. No, I used the foils to add some dimension, um, higher levels in certain places where the foils are. Um, they will get lighter longer than the rest of the hair so there is dimension so this is the result of my hair I think it came out really good my tips are lighter not my tips yeah my tips are lighter tips <laughs> Uh, my roots are darker, which I wanted. So, um, as you see, it's still very bouncy, very flowy. It's been air dried, combed out, brushed out. Um, so, we are ready to go into the next step. It's time to tone. So, the Wella gets a good um, bit of reviews on the YouTube streets here, but uh, it was an epic fail for me. Um, my hair was still orangey, brassy. I left it on, followed all the directions, child, and did not get what I needed. So, um, I went back to an old favorite, this caramel uh, high lift ash color from uh, Preference, L'Oreal. It leaves ash on that hair, gets rid of those oranges and yellows. You can only leave it on, though, if you do it wet for 15 minutes tops. If you do a dry um, color, you only want to do like five to seven minutes. If you leave it on for too long, baby, you will have gray hair. Now you can tone out the gray. I've done it before. A few washes, a little high lift brown, cool brown, uh, multifaceted feria. We'll get it right on back to that nice little ashy uh, blonde that I love. I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, the caramel L'Oreal puts that ash right on in there, child. So this is the end result. As you see, it's very different from the original wig. Um, it is still a little brassy, but I'm loving the um, bra the uh, ash tones. It got rid of the oranges. It got rid of the yellows. Gave me a nice cognac-y 
ginger color on the um the oranges so yeah i'm happy so i'm prepping child getting ready to um tie my hair up under this wig cap and um uh, always braid my hair wet don't ask me why i just do um i like to braid it wet because my uh hair gets flat you know when you braid it wet you put your stocking cap on and i usually sleep in mine the next morning i didn't i then do my install it's nice and flat and you're good to go so here i am prepping to uh install my wig i'm putting on um rubbing my skin with 99 percent i guess it's proof child um rubbing alcohol that you can pick up from the beauty supply store and um, it really gets all the grease off of your forehead and primes it for glue or tape whichever you use i usually use tape and glue at the ears and then glue across the top all right so my expertise pretty much end here if you use my coloring advice you're going to get the result that you want but baby me putting this wig on has been a mess um so everything from this point is what not to do when you're installing i've got some excellent tutorials below of some girls who know what they're doing but if you can learn from my mistakes child i hope i bless you so we'll get into it So as you see here, I have my glue on and I am getting ready to put it on. Huge mistake number one, maybe you see that white. You want to let the glue dry until it's clear. Don't be impatient like me. Don't put on a white coat, let it get halfway clear, put on another one, let it get halfway clear, child. And then just say, oh my God, I'm put it on. And you gonna go and get glue in your hair too. Mm-hmm. Hot as mess is what ensued after this because first of all i did not measure the wig when i put it on like put it on before to make sure it was tight enough on the front and i got a peanut head so the wig was too big so of course some of the hair got into what was supposed to be on my forehead a mess so basically, I'm just trying to make the best of it. My baby's graduation is this weekend. I could not get an appointment with somebody to do it, so we're going to make it work. Um, in all my videos that I've watched, the best fix, child, is what? Baby hair, which I'm going to get into. It saved my life. So mistake number one to never cut your lace too close and never cut it if it's not on your head child i made that mistake got a little happy because the coloring went so well so excited about this hair cut it before i put it on my head and it just contributed to the mess child but fortunately the wig is too big so i do have like a few pulls front that i can do um before i lose too much in the front to where i'll be wearing hats with the wig constantly because the hair is still so damn pie <sighs> but don't be like me child cut it with it on your head moving on so epic fail the next one is don't tint your lace all of your lace at one time if you buy spray you got makeup do your little test piece child you can take a piece out the back lace a little piece out the corner child i sprayed all this crap on this lace and baby there is no part of my body of the color of this lace this tint child and sheila j hello it was hd lace no need to tint you've done it before you just got too happy child i love some products i'm in the beauty store just swiping the damn shelf child picking up every goddamn thing so note if you buy some spray tint stuff you get excited like me test it first before you spray all your lace because you'll be washing it like me and have to wait another day so when all else fails honey baby hair baby hair baby hair 
Um, I'm going to show y'all the end result here. I'm happy. I'm able to hide my uh, faux pas, child. And I hope it helps you. At the end of the day, your confidence is going to shine through. Um, and honey, you wear it like it's laid, slayed, made in the shade, child. And give anybody trying to look at you crazy like, what? It's still cute. Um, so yeah, it's nice and secure. I wrap it up every night. Um, any extra glue, I just take me a spray of hand sanitizer, spray it on there. It'll roll right on off, child. Um, but after, of course, I've had it on two days now. It took me forever to do this video. Um, it's gotten, gotten flatter as far as like the melt. So, um, it's easy to camouflage the errors. But I basically French braid it at night, put a scarf on, and call it a day. I hope this helped you, and um, I'll see y'all next time.